Welcome to Book Nook. My name is Vanessa Hutchinson Zeckley, and I'm so enthused to read a book with you. On Big Belly Breathing, we listen to guided meditations, but on Book Nook, we listen to books. Today's book is called One in a Million. Our author is Konika Ray Wong, and our illustrator is Mary Navarro. So before we get started, please find your comfortable spot, get settled in, grab your lovey, maybe a glass of water. You could be sitting or lying down. Let's just get ready to read. Did you know you were born with one million eggs in your body? But wait, we aren't chickens and we don't lay eggs. Do we actually have eggs inside of our bodies? Humans are in a group of animals called mammals. We don't lay eggs because we give birth to live babies, but we do store eggs in our bodies. When we stand in the super Shiro pose with our hands on our hips, our fingers point to where our eggs are stored. Human eggs are tiny. They're the size of pencil tips. You have two ovaries, one on each side of your uterus. They store your eggs. Your ovaries are quite small, the size of almonds. One day, one of your ovaries will release its first egg. That egg will travel to your uterus. Your uterus is a hollow organ about the size of your fist, and it is the strongest muscle in your body. A uterus is also called a womb. It is shaped like an upside down pear and located below your belly button. Once a month, your body will build a nest to protect the egg. Then it will shed the nest. But if someday you decide to have a baby, instead of shedding the nest, your body will keep it as a helpful place for the baby to grow. I bet you're probably wondering what the nest is made of. It isn't made of twigs like a bird's nest. Could you guess what it's made of if I give you four clues? Here they are. Clue number one, it sends oxygen to your whole body with each breath you take. Clue number two, it fights germs like a brave ninja warrior. Clue number three, it transports vitamins in the foods you eat from your digestive system to the rest of your body. Clue number four, it flows in and out of your heart like kindness and love. Did you guess it? The answer is blood. The four clues mention some of the most important superpowers of blood that help us keep us healthy. The nest in your uterus is made out of nutrient-rich blood, and every time the uterus sheds that blood, it's called having a period. Do you remember four ways that your blood keeps you healthy? Hint, recall the clues you read earlier. The four clues mention some of the most important superpowers of blood that help keep us healthy. Your grown-ups are so grateful that your body is healthy and growing. You are one in a million. All right, so this was One in a Million, a first book about periods. Um, a little bit, I should have read this maybe at the beginning. Imagine a world where every little girl felt strong and confident in her body and every child with a uterus celebrated their superpowers. 
This book is the first step in that direction. In one in a million, children meet a cute uterus character that takes them on a journey that demystifies the process of ovulation in the menstrual cycle. Thank you, Kanika. Thank you, Mary. This is a wonderful and very simple, easy to comprehend book that teaches us about how our bodies work. So much appreciation. Thanks for making it into Book Nook. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And please remember the BBB motto. Breathe, move, eat, rest. Respirez, bouger, manger, se reposer. Okay, thank you. See you at our next book nook. Ciao!